autoimmune disorder. It is inherited disorder, so it affect more than one, uh, one member of the family. Uh, it is caused by like defect in excretion or removal of the cover from the body. Uh, so this will result in part, uh, precipitation of the cover in sets certain organs like especially brain, liver and eyes and other organs. Uh, it's important disorder because it could be presented by different types of movement disorders like imbalance, like um, swaying from side to side, like twisting movement, which we call it dystonia, like tremor, like uh, slowness of movement or Parkinsonian features. So it is uh, have many faces and also uh, could also have presented by other systemic symptoms like symptoms of liver dysfunction and so on. Also it is important to know because it is potentially treatable so if we discover it early and we treat it early we uh, could improve the condition of our patients. Uh, so Wilson disease is an important uh, disorder, could be diagnosed by MRI of the brain, by some labs for the cover and uh, the cover carrier in the body, uh, cover in the urine and also genetic testing. And once it should be suspected in any patient, in young children or young adults presented by hepatic or movement disorders at this age. And uh, the treatment start by avoidance of any cover containing uh, food. And also uh, we could give chelators, which drugs that could remove excess cover from the body. And in advanced stages, we could uh, need to do a liver transplantation. Also, we have to screen other family, members of the family of the patient with Wilson disease to discover, diagnose early and discover early and so treat early. And this is will prevent uh, progression and complication of the disease. So it is under diagnosed disorder, but it's important to suspect by the patient and by the doctor and uh, diagnose it and treat it as soon as possible.